I am Brett Matum of brett.matum.net. In this level 100 screencast, I'll be going through the different Visual Studio editions. The lesson's objectives. I'll walk through the different Visual Studio 2010 editions. We'll look at the installation requirements and I'll give you some recommendations. Microsoft provides a free version of Visual Studio 2010 called Express. All that you'll need to do is register online to get a free key, download and install the Express edition. Unlike the paid version, each product in Express is a separate download. There are different Visual Studio 2010 Express editions for C Sharp, Visual Basic, C++, Web Developer and Web Phone Development. The Visual Studio 2010 C Sharp Express Edition allows you to develop C Sharp applications. However, there are some limitations. There is no source control integration from the IDE. The Forms Designer, although functional, has limitations. There is no unit test capability with MS Test. You can only build 32 bit applications. The debugging capabilities are limited. You cannot install plugins add-ins or run macros. You cannot use your IDE for data connectivity. The commercial editions are Professional, Premium and Ultimate. Professional has everything you need to build common applications. All the express limitations have been removed. It has components for web development, Silverlight and SharePoint products. Multi-core development on both 32-bit and 64-bit are supported. Windows and Office development is also supported. Developing cloud applications is also possible. The Premium Edition has everything that the Professional Edition has, but adds developer productivity components, such as profiling, code coverage, metrics, and other analysis reports. The database tooling such as database change management, unit testing for databases and test data generations also included. UI test automation can also be built using the premium edition. The ultimate edition is the top edition aimed at large scale enterprise developers. It has some awesome features. Debugging supports IntelliTrace which allows you to trace applications that have run on other machines. It supports designers to help architects. There are more testing capabilities, including load and web testing. Manual testing can be created with improvements in tracing and logging. Visual Studio can be installed on different operating systems. This includes XP, Vista, Windows 7, Server 2003, 2008. Most operating systems support both 32-bit and 64-bit with the exception of XP, which only runs on a 32-bit machine, and Server 2008, which only supports 64-bit. As a developer, I would suggest that you develop on a desktop operating system, such as Windows 7, even if you're building server applications. When it comes to testing server products, you can easily spin up a virtual machine to test on. I would be bold enough to say 99.9% .9 of your applications can be built on a desktop operating system. However, testing of these server products should always be done on a server operating system. There are minimum hardware specs for Visual Studio 2010. You need a 1.6 GHz machine or faster, a gig RAM, 3 gigs of disk space, a 5400 RPM disk drive, a graphics card capable of running DirectX 9, and a minimum screen resolution of 1024 by 768. Please note that these are additive, which needs to be added on top of your operating system and other products that you have installed. In other words, you'll need to have memory for your operating system if you're running SQL Server, memory for SQL Server, and then an additional 1 gig of RAM for Visual Studio. The real world developer needs. Developers are brutal on computers and need powerful machines. The average desktop machine for office type products is not sufficient for a developer. Developing on 64 bits is a must. 
you'll also need the fastest CPU you can afford with multiple cores. 4 gig of RAMs is not enough. 8 gigs is sufficient. However, if you plan to run some virtual machines, I would strongly recommend 16 gigs of RAM. Disk performance is critical for developers. A compile process reads hundreds if not thousands of files and compiles them writing the results to disk. It is an extremely disk intensive process and thus a fast disk will drastically improve compile time. I would recommend a solid state drive. I would also recommend dual monitors as this allows you to work on code, have data documents open at the same time. This will prevent context switching and increase your productivity. If you're on a tight budget, put your money into disk speed first, followed by RAM and then CPU. In the past 24 years, I noticed my CPU is idle most of the time and has short bursts while running tests or compiling. As I normally develop server-based applications, I frequently find myself spinning up virtual machines. Having that additional memory helps. Disk speed directly affects compile time in order of magnitude. In review, Visual Studio Express is a great learning tool and it's free. Visual Studio Professional Premium and Ultimate give more power to professional developers. Developers should be using a desktop operating system such as Windows 7. Developer machines should be well specced.